with Issa and Grace on Afrobytes Radio. And today, yes. actually, you introduce them. Today we have the Dapper, oh the amazing, oh my god. clean cut. Oh my god. Cut, cut, cut. Ooh, Yo, I got, a, I got a haircut for the radio. Like. You did? <laughs> no, because when I first saw you back in the back, like you look so clean. Like Thank I was you. like, look at his little forehead. That's not my little. Seen. No, I have a big forehead. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about it. Let's, let's let's talk about it. <laughs> it's so clean cut. Thank like you. you look really clean. But tell what's his yes, name? His name is Shay Smith. There you go. You know, you aka go. aka Shay Jordan. You know, yeah. okay. all the socials. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little bit of a bio about you. I know you're big in politics. I know mm -hmm. that you were actually on Fox. 26, right? Yeah, mm. recently. Yeah, Isaiah Carey. Yeah, Isaiah Carey show. Yeah, you know, the little, little talking, you know, okay. like we're about to do here. Okay. Thank awesome. you, thank you, thank you. I love having like educated blackness mm -hmm. in on our show. That's like really the biggest thing for our show is promoting like black people in our community yeah. and exposing them and empowering them and giving them the platform to speak. So well, I appreciate y'all for having me on. That's also awesome. tell <laughs> us. You yes. were talking about you were getting kind of emotional about the collaboration with Beyonce. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot. Quickly. I know. Quickly. I know. Right from jump. So you were getting emotional about the collaboration with Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce's song, right? Savage. Yeah. Tell like, us a little bit about. So that. when Beyonce and Megan released the Savage remix, mm -hmm. I guess what it's called. I teared up. I really Crazy. did. Um, Why are you crying for? Listen, I love Beyonce. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep you it. Said, I'm a sad. Period. <laughs> Nasty. <boogie> okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be okay. I don't know why you feel the need <laughs> to go to the list. Beyonce signing. Obviously. Oh really? Are you signing Parkwood? Also, oh, you're Chloe and Holly at this point, or uh, I, it's Chloe, Holly, and Grace. They, it's, they put it in very small. Wait, oh, say it again. Say it again. It's, it's Chloe, Holly, and Grace. <laughs> yeah, they put it in right. very small font. Um, you're the X. In between yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're the X. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. If you take a telescope, you'll see that it says. Oh my grace. God. So you can sing. Is that what no, you sing? So let's let's. You wanna you wanna go ahead and sing something? I'm a savage. <laughs> so like back I to said, you at this point. Stick, stick to so, the ha -ha. <laughs> so, how did, so you being from Houston, you yeah. going to um, you attending TSU? Like yeah. How take us through that emotional like how you felt emotionally with that song? I mean. So it's it's somebody who's currently at TSU, Megan Thee Stallion. Mm. Somebody who's a Houston icon, a Houston legend. She's still mm -hmm. enrolled there. Yeah. Wow. I thought she graduated this year. She, I think she was supposed to, mm. but then you know. Coronavirus. And she got famous. And then she got famous. Mm -hmm. But just seeing seeing like two two titans, two female titans mm -hmm. from Houston mm -hmm. collaborate, and then mm -hmm. Megan not even having an album like a, an actual album out, and mm -hmm. Beyonce choosing to work with her, mm -hmm. kind of putting that seal, that stamp that seal of approval on her, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of just made it it kind of you know a little inspirational mm -hmm. right there, you know, it's kind of like I too can you know maybe not twerk and rap, but mm -hmm. you know I can do what <laughs> okay <laughs> no but just. It, it let me know that I can kind of kind of do and be whatever I mm -hmm. want to be. Because yeah. Megan dreamed about being a rapper. She dreamed about, she manifested mm -hmm. um, working with Beyonce about a year or so prior to. Wow. And now she's signed to Rock Nation. She's working with Beyonce. She's, That's you know, killing it on the BET Awards, mm -hmm. you know. Nice. Shout out to my girl, The Stallion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that's the thing, right? When you see someone that was like born and raised in the community that you yeah. were born and raised in, yeah. and just mm -hmm. and then seeing someone like Beyonce, oh you know, working with yeah, it's just it makes it's like full circle. Almost. It's like, very much so full you, circle. Everyone is empowering each other, and that's that's what I love. It's awesome. It's awesome. Let's so, talk politics. So that's what I'm. So Fourth of July. Is it is it your Independence Day? No, nah, mine was uh, 15 days ago. Oh, absolutely. oh, so June 19th. Juneteenth. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juneteenth. Today is today. Well, today is a special day. I'm not gonna I'm not okay. gonna take away from today. Today is Malia Obama's birthday. So shout out oh to the president, I didn't, I didn't to our that. forever first daughter, Miss mm -hmm. Malia Obama. Um, okay. Shout out to her. I don't know how old she's turning, but mm -hmm. today's her birthday. Okay. <laughs> Obama's birthday was on Sunday that corresponded with one of Trump's. It was the, the oh. 14th. I don't know Obama's birthday. I, I, you can, don't quote me on it. I'll, I I'll definitely know. get it wrong. I'm not about to type and look it up. <laughs> but but yeah, no, to that mean today is a special day because, you know, it's her birthday. Mm -hmm. um, but like I so said. So what about the birth of this nation? Do you feel like today represents that? I mean, it does. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, it's not a day that I celebrate independence. Mm -hmm. um, because my people, on 1776, July 4th, whatever day that was, mm -hmm. my people were, were still enslaved. They mm -hmm. still yeah. weren't free. Mm -hmm. We didn't get our freedom until, like I said, until, you talked about it earlier, 100 mm -hmm. years later. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Texas. In Texas. I mean, mm -hmm. granted, 
at least I had it prior to. Right. The, the nor northerners were freed. The north uh, two slaves years, in the north were. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more. And that's the thing. Like I feel like a lot of people don't realize. Like we're not trying to be like combative. I was just talking right. to you right in the back. Yeah. Like especially I was having a conversation with a relative, and it's like. We're not trying to be these black people that are trying to make civil unrest, this and that. No, it's a simple fact that at the end of the day, at this time, 4th exactly. of July, yeah. black people were not free. Absolutely. It took two years, especially in the South, to make sure that and to actually in practicality have black people being free. And mm -hmm. so how can you then say that this is the right, this is the independence that you know you fought for, that you should be celebrating? It doesn't make sense. Because even if you go beyond that, even after Juneteenth, we still weren't quote unquote Free. Mm -hmm. You know, we still, well, even today, mm -hmm. we're still oppressed. We're still getting Absolutely. killed in the streets. We're still, you know, enemies of the state. Mm -hmm. And even if we go out and protest, you know, us not being able to breathe, we're seen as terrorists by mm -hmm. the people at the top, mm -hmm. by the guy in the White House. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. but then, but then on the other side, you can go and protest not getting a haircut. You can go and protest not being able to go to the gym mm -hmm. yeah. and show up to the state capitol with AR-15s and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not have any, not have any issues. But That's we're in the crazy. street peacefully protesting Peace. with. The mayor and the police chief, as much as I dislike him. Wait, why, why do you dislike uh, Art Acevedo? Art Acevedo. So, mm -hmm. I, it's not that I don't, I don't like him. It's like I've seen what he's done previously. What has he done? He was um, a commanding officer uh, in Austin. He had a lot of cases against him. Even here, even in the past, what three months we've been in quarantine, mm -hmm. we've had over ten unarmed black individuals die at the hand of police. Wow. Like you can't. I mean, I get it. Granted. Good photo op, you're out marching with us. Mm -hmm. But when you're marching with us, but then at home, you're still yeah. doing the same things that we're protesting against. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what? I'm surprised no one has called them out. The thing is, we've called him out. Mm -hmm. We've called him out. But it just doesn't but it's just, like Exactly, it. because he's the he's the media darling. He's on The View. He's mm -hmm. on Good, De Good Morning America. He's mm -hmm. doing all of these, you know, these talk shows and all that. And this. that's one thing, yeah. I've seen the mayor and um, the mayor of Sylvester Turner and yeah. Chief, 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 Chief Chief police officer mm -hmm. um, Art Acevedo yeah. everywhere. They're on CNN. They're yeah. everywhere. So I mean, I can see how people can kind of become more like, oh, I like him. You know, not like, really challenge. And the thing is, I know he's gonna run for mayor. That's I feel like that's his next oh, step really? to run for mayor. So I think now is like the I time for him. It. That's not my mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my mayor. Who is your mayor? Oh, okay. We love Sebastian Turner. I do. He's doing a great job. <laughs> He's just, doing a great job. Your is just cracks me up. Like. That was silly. I love it. I oh love my energy. gosh. But no, Sebastian Turner is doing a great job as mayor. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like I said, he has his faults as well. But I feel like what, as a... Let, 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 what do you think his faults are? Because I, I know a lot of people, like including me, I didn't really know too much of Sylvester Turner mm -hmm. until like right now and everything is becoming, mm -hmm. he's, he's mm -hmm. front and center. But what do you think are some... some, some I mean, if we're even talking recently, recently, like, yeah. I want to say a few days after we had the protest at City Hall, mm -hmm. they passed uh, a budget for HPD, mm -hmm. which put their budget over a billion dollars. Now, we just said defund the police. Mm -hmm. You were there hearing us say that. Mm -hmm. But then you and City Council raised the budget mm -hmm. for the police. Mm. Which we were saying could be fun. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't really, that doesn't it's add up to me. But then it's like, I get it too, because you can't really, I mean, I get, I, I get that it won't be an immediate change. Yeah, and it may have, it may have been like, you know, the planning process was last year. I don't know how I, you do that. And process, I get that. I get sure that. Like, you've, just, you've yeah. been in back, like, they've been in back rooms talking about it, doing mm -hmm. XYZ. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I, me personally, I would have been like, hey, we just had a protest here, literally at City Hall. Mm -hmm. Two days later, we're having a vote. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't. Right now, yeah. you know, or even put out a statement saying like we understand instead of exactly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly, paying yeah. attention to and calling it out. Meanwhile, you have council members like Leticia Plummer, who is who literally rewrote like a, a a budget for HPD, kind of defunding the police, you know, making sure that we have those um, checks and balances in place. I used to help her. I used to um, volunteer with her. I love her. I she love is. her. She's really cool. But and and her plan got shot down mm. because she was in the minority mm -hmm. of of what the city council wanted to do because they kind of already had their own little faction that they had going. Yeah. And now it's like there's a big thing going back and forth with her and city council trying to figure, you know, trying to give find a medium. Yeah, find a find a, like a heavy like a nice medium because mm -hmm. like we like I said we want to have these these things in place to kind of prevent us from literally being killed by police and being, right. us being over policed and things yeah, like that. Right. But then it's like. With the police unions and, and you know, like I said, Chief Acevedo being the new media darling, it's kind of going to be hard to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important for us going into, you know, 
our next little topic <laughs> it's important it's important to vote mm -hmm. so tell us about voting it's cool yes. like my thing is it's cool to be out in the streets mm -hmm. protesting mm -hmm. being loud yelling marching Get your pictures, put them on Instagram. exactly yeah. all that performative you know activism Expression. but then when it actually comes down to it, we have to vote we have to make sure we put people in power and put people in place mm -hmm. that have our ideals at heart mm -hmm. and we'll, when we'll take our ideals and actually turn that into law turn that mm -hmm. into reform turn that into change right. and so like i said voting is important right. and right now we have we have um, runoff elections going on right now so it's important right so you were talking about yeah. that so what's the difference between runoff and then the one that everyone knows about which is the presidential yeah. elections you yeah. know so tell us a little bit about so that. in march on march 3rd of this year we had a primary mm -hmm. which is where the parties vote for who they'll send into november to run against the other party Mm -hmm. um, if you don't get over 50% of the vote in the primary, you go to a runoff. That's what we're having right now. So not everybody's on the ballot. Not every position is, you know, mm -hmm. a, you know, needs to have a runoff. But mm -hmm. the ones that are like county commissioner, mm -hmm. uh, I believe state senators are up for election, uh, other things like that. You mm -hmm. know, just the peace judges all the way down. And so it's important for us to be in, politically involved. And that's like I said, going out and voting, going out and researching. Mm -hmm. So making an educated, you know, vote, not just mm -hmm. you know clicking buttons and clicking names. I mean, that's cool too. Can you give an example of some good resources? Because I know right now mm -hmm. with like Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and everyone mm -hmm. think people are just spreading whatever they want. And yeah, so yeah. it's really hard for people to find like really good. It's like good, almost too much information. Yeah. Where you're getting lost it's in overwhelming it. Overwhelming mm -hmm. and there's contradicting information. So like some good like straightforward but good sources verified mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. i'm trying to find the one that i was actually that i was actually using the other day if i can pull it up that would be great <laughs> um but i mean literally you can just literally go on to votetexas.org and it'll give you mm -hmm. ballots it'll give, it'll let you look at the look at your ballot for your precinct and then you can kind of go down and see you know do your googles and see mm -hmm. you know Who's this person? Who's running for judge? Who's running mm -hmm. for justice? Who's running for you know county commissioner? That makes sense. That's a good point because a lot of times we think of like you know voting for the president, mm -hmm. you know, and the vice president, yeah, but we don't really we don't really think about voting for you know state senator or judge. Yeah. I even for me personally, I don't really think I, I, that's as important, and that's the wrong way to think because you need to make sure that those people, not at the bottom, but just at the, you know, at the lower level, at the, at the local levels, levels, at the local levels, yeah. um, are important for our community, first of for all, because sure. we live here, for sure. And then second of all, they influence people as you go up in that kind of, um, and we're more influenced by them. So it's like, yeah, true, what true. the president yeah. does and says, I mean, of course, I hear it on CNN, I hear it on MSNBC, and mm -hmm. it affects me. Mm -hmm. But in the long term, it doesn't necessarily affect me because he's not the one on the ground making you know mm -hmm. laws for my community, my neighborhood, my city. Mm -hmm. um, but the resource I'm saying it, it's vote411.org, and you can actually type in your address, type in where you live. Um, it'll give you your precinct. It'll actually give you your actual ballot with clickable links, so you can see like who each person is. Go to the website and things that's like that. Perfect. So, so that's vote for like the letter, the yeah. number four. Vote yeah. Four so one. vote four eleven vote four one one dot org. Um, they're not paying me to say this. I'll just go ahead and say that. But it's what I it's what I personally use to kind of see who was running in this runoff election. Um, but like I, like we're kind of going back to it, the runoffs are important. So you go from the runoff and you go to November, mm -hmm. and that's when everyone wants you know to turn up and show out and mm -hmm. vote for whoever it is, whether it's Trump or Biden or whoever you know whoever that ends up being. But like I said, it's important to kind of not know. Really, those two are not, not that great. You're rocking a hard place. That's why I was with my dad the other day. It's, it's not much of a difference. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> that's a whole, that's a I whole mean, there's other. a difference to no, me. No, 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 there is. Okay, okay, I'm just okay. saying, like, there, we could have had a different Democratic oh, candidate. Oh, for sure, for sure. He's but he's definitely better than Trump. But I'm just saying, I wish we could have gotten a better one. Oh, for sure, for sure. But, but to that point, I want to say, the same thinking is what we had is what we had last time mm -hmm. with Hillary. Mm -hmm. People didn't like Hillary. People weren't, you know, as enthralled or in love mm -hmm. with Hillary and they didn't vote for her. Right, right. So having that not saying what you're saying is wrong, mm -hmm. but having that kind of that that train of thought mm -hmm. is kind of in a sense toxic. Mm -hmm. Cuz then of course you're saying it but you're probably still going to vote. And that's the same thing I think oh, with Trump mm -hmm. and, and Clinton cuz they were like, okay, well, I'm not going to vote for any of them. And then the that, okay, that, that's, that to and that's the Trump, thing. I see what you're saying. Cuz some people could have that mindset and be like, okay, so because of that, I'm not going to vote for either one, but you should still vote because, because the people that are, you don't want to underestimate the turnout and they then will turn out, <laughs> they will turn out. They will come to the rally even if it's on June 10th. Ah, don't get me started. So, on that note, we will take a quick break. And we will continue with this topic and LGBTQ+. This is the gist with Lisa and Grace with our guest star, Shane. Woo!
Thank you guys. Okay, we're ready. We are back. Thank you guys for tuning Thank back so in. Much. This is the Juice of Issa and Grace on Apple Vibes Radio. Yes. With our guest <laughs> star. <laughs> Look at you trying to introduce yourself. You better wait. Listen, I'm like Chloe and Hallie and Grace, okay? <laughs> 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 I just put my name in there. Chloe and Grace. Oh my God. So, what were we talking about before the break? I know we're talking about politics, but I don't remember specifically what we were talking about. Do you remember? Um, politics wise, we were talking about voting. Look at you, you little no pattern. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. She's absolutely. writing everything down. I see you looking at it. Come on, see. being Mary Jane. You can check if you, if you uh, are registered to vote, right? Yes. Mm. Um, you can go to. I don't even know where you can go to get that. Um, actually, go to the same website. Yeah, vote, vote, vote Texas. Vote for eleven dot dot org or vote Texas. Mm -hmm. um, and check and see if you're registered. If not, register, please. Vote in November. Yeah, because there was actually someone in the studio last week, like trying to get people to be registered. Oh, yeah. no, that was census. But I know a lot of people are trying to get like everyone to be vote, to be registered yes. so that people can start voting and the turnout will be a lot, a lot of people, more. A lot of people, a lot of people, age especially don't vote because they, they don't see it as important. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they don't see it as doing anything. Mm -hmm. Or just like we were talking about, they don't. See someone that they, they want to vote for, which yeah. is not good, but that's right. another deterrent. Yeah. And of course, like people like me, of course, I'm gonna know who I'm voting for because you know I've met the people, or I've you know mm. researched them, or I've you know yeah, watched their whatever, whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 a lot on our part to go out and, and find these people, you know, mm -hmm. to kind of figure out who we're voting for. But it's something that we need to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can look up and see, you know, what gossip is happening, well, who Will and Jada are yeah. doing with whatever, you know what I mean, August, or Kim K or Beyonce August, or whatever. August, I see you. Every song. Why? Anyway. I don't know. I, I, I think he's, from, he's from New Orleans. Oh, he is. Yeah. Do you, do you like that red hair he has? No, the Keisha Cole wig. Yeah, the Keisha Cole wig. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that? I was surprised. I didn't even recognize it's, him. It's not. It's not for me. I don't yeah, like yeah. it. It's not for me. It's he, not for uh, me. He had a lot going on in the interview with the hair and the glasses and the outfit. Like it just looked like a, it was overwhelming to me. I was just and I said, ah. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but if but you yeah. can go if you can go and figure that out, yeah. then you can easily just scroll on your phone and figure right. out who you're voting for. Right. Right. So. No, it's important. That's the thing, like even like I schooled here do like high school and stuff and it's I don't know, I just didn't I wasn't educated enough to me to from like looking back and saying, Hey, if they had a little bit because we talked about government, we had economics. But I feel like there wasn't really an there wasn't emphasis a push. on this is how you get registered. You know, this is how this is why What's voting is important. Is? Like we don't have, I didn't, I didn't get that kind of information. From the same story I'm about to tell about Ellington. Yes. Yeah. So we had. Uh, I'm a year. I'm a year older than Grace. So, oh, so you're, my, you're my age. Okay. Yes. Baby. We're, we're, you know, we're seasoned. Over you know here. what I'm saying? Like grow below. But um, <laughs> our actually our government teacher, if once you hit, I think it was 17 yeah. and in six months or whatever, mm -hmm. she gave you like a, right a voter registration card, mm -hmm. so you could register to vote literally like in class. And she she was deputized to like send it off and do all that. Really. So we were pushed like. That and then also, we were, were you in um, Kamala? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went to high school together, so yeah, that's why I'm I, like... I went yeah. to high school as well with you guys. <laughs> did you really? No. no. You oh, I was, say, I was like, wait. <laughs> no, you can't see my expression because of the mask. Um, <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah, coronavirus. <laughs> but, um, so we... law class. So, like, I mean, I, that's kind of what kind of kept me going in, mm. into politics. Because, like, of course, I knew the law mm -hmm. at this point. Like, we had it, like, literally ingrained into us. Yeah, um, we had to know all the Bill of Rights, yes. and I think the rest of like them too as well, right? The rest of the Bill amendments of too. And all the, uh, the, the, the Constitution, like all the parts of it. Yeah, and if you couldn't like say it back like in class, you were shamed. Yeah, like, really. Yeah. Oh so, goodness. but the thing about that, that's, that's we're, awesome. We're a special case. Like we're like exactly. we're, that is an anomaly. That's not. We're, that's we're not a small true. minority of like twenty kids in a, you know in that whole school that knew that information, that knew that voting was important, and that knew actual elected officials. Because of course, she would bring in people that mm -hmm. she knew from the community, from you know our area, Sugarland, Fort Bend County, or whatever, to come really? in and talk to us. Yeah. And the Electoral College, she like pounded that into us. And now it's like a trending thing to know. What to know about it, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like the hip thing to know, quote unquote. But it's like when we were 17, 18, yeah. mind you, it's like 10 And what do you ago. say to that? It's, it's, what do you say to people that say, oh, why do I need to vote? The Electoral College is there anyway. It's going to override. What, what do you say to that? If you don't vote, you can't complain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you you had you've had a chance to have your voice heard, mm -hmm. and don't come back, you know, four years later, mm -hmm. kind of like we're seeing right now, mm -hmm. and and complain and say, oh well, I didn't vote for this. Yeah, you also did vote. Mm -hmm. So your mm -hmm. opinion effectively is is, is yeah. thrown out. Mm -hmm. And granted, I get some of us some some people can't vote for whatever reason, whether you have you know mm -hmm. for you know 
status or you know crimes things like yeah, that yeah, felons can't vote. so so i get that but it's like if you go out of your way to not vote and you are fully able to be registered and you're eligible to vote yeah you just didn't do it because you didn't want to you exactly the need to. and that's where i that's where i find fault yeah yeah for yeah. sure so talking about law, so a new law mm -hmm. of discrimination. So the Supreme, yeah, the Supreme Court passed a, a law that basically you cannot discriminate against anyone who has uh, based on their sexual orientation. So it wasn't necessarily that they passed a law. They okay. they expanded. They expanded the uh, 1964. Go ahead, go ahead, read, go ahead. <laughs> Listen, I told you. I'm bringing. I brought. I brought the receipts. I have the receipts <laughs> and the invoices. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he came with a lot of information. I was, he, I believe him. I was like, he did not do anything. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh, funny. But so it was the 1964 Civil Rights Act. So it protects the LGBT, so gay, lesbian, transgender employees from being discriminated against based upon just their sex. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of like I said, it kind of it expanded. It expanded what was already in place, the Civil right. Rights Act, right. and kind of uh, had it now. It now includes the kind of the whole the whole alphabet, the LGBT community. Right. Um, and what's crazy about that is a lot of Trump's um, justices, the people he put on the Supreme Court mm -hmm. while he's been in office, actually voted with the majority. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was six so, to three. Six to three, yeah, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy because even the Chief Justice John Roberts and the four, you know, the four of the courts, uh, liberal justices, and then the one that Trump put in office, mm -hmm. actually voted with, like, voted as the majority. And that's interesting because a lot of the cases the Supreme Court has been putting out, they've been kind of going against Trump, which. It's interesting because, of course, he put up maybe I think three at this point, mm -hmm. three of wow. the nine justices. Wow. Yeah, nine. Um, so it's a third of the vote. So I mean, yeah. you know, they, they should have a little bit more power in a sense. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy to see that Trump's kind of losing, you know, losing his reign. I thought that was a reflection of the bigger thing, right? Which mm -hmm. is that Trump is kind of so far on his own at this point that even you see Republicans even abandoning ship. You like know? Mitt Romney. Like Mitt Romney is yeah. one. Even like people, um, like our governor actually. Our governor was so pro uh, Trump outwardly and saying things like, "Oh yeah, you know, with the whole mask thing, you don't mm -hmm. have to wear masks. You can op open up the city so the economy can go back to normal." Yeah. You know, these are things that Trump was pushing for, mm -hmm. and a lot of the governors and senators are like, "Yeah." Right. Like we're kind of, you know, we're kind of make sure everything is right for the people, right. Um, right across the board, no matter you know who you are and what you do and things like that. Like make sure everything is right. So it's interesting to see, and that's why I hope that Joe Biden, or I pray mm -hmm. that Joe Biden gets in the office in, uh, in November, so that Ruth Bader Ginsburg can kind of step down because she's one of the older, yeah. the, one of the older justices on the court, mm -hmm. and she's trying to hold on as hard as she can, mm -hmm. to, so that he can, she can be replaced by by a liberal, mm -hmm. um, so that so that Trump can get like you know the whole mm -hmm. you know the, you know the whole court. Because we can't vote for who's on the Supreme Court. Right, they're appointed. Mm -hmm. Right, so and, if that, and, if and for really, life. And for life, yeah. So she's she's up there in age. She That's literally, job security, man. It is. Well, listen, gracious. With the coronavirus, people getting fired, man. You need to put me up there in the Supreme Court. Man. I thought you were already with Halle and Supreme Court, man. Come on. You already you signed that contract, though. <laughs> That's just how we do it. Yeah, hey, do it. I thought you were okay. No, but no, that, that I think it's so true. I think you know, at the end of the day, the Supreme Court is is important. Trump is important, but I think we're realizing the, the power of our own voices, right? Exactly. And these grassroots organizations, these grassroots organizations, and just this grassroots movement, exactly. or the Black Lives Matter movement, even the Me Too movement. You know, if we go back a little bit. You're seeing people band together and say, "This is what I think should be important," yeah. and then it actually becomes important because of the power of social media. Yeah. I, was so, I was like, "Yeah, social media is definitely having an impact in that." Like, literally, the number one. And like, if you think about it, a lot of a lot of the reasons why we're seeing mm -hmm. seeing and hearing a lot about a lot of these stories is because of social media. Mm -hmm. People are able to record. People are able to kind of get their thoughts out and say, "Hey, this happened to me, or this happened oh to X, this Y, and Z." This is like a weapon now. Like, definitely, it really this, is. This could end your job. Or just this. Well, I'm recording. Have, yes. I actually have a question. This is aside from that. Mm -hmm. Why do you think, and this has always been on my mind for like the last couple of weeks, why do you think masks are being politicized? Because our president won't wear one. Literally? It that's the, that's the only reason. If, if he had worn one, it mm. wouldn't be an issue. Mm. Uh, staying at so home wouldn't be an issue. why do you think he's not issue. wearing one? It reminds me of global warming. Mm. Like the same, how he has the same attitude mm -hmm. about global warming. He now, denies it. Like, denial, denial, denial. Mm -hmm. A hoax. Well, like he even said, he, he thought the coronavirus was a hoax the entire yeah, time. He said in January, February. He, he yeah. never took it seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, now he's he's taking it seriously, but of course he hasn't, he hasn't been talking about it. 
Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him. I know the, the task force reassembled after like a month. Of, the know, thing is, they away. pulled back from having the press. You know, we used to have like press conferences right, every, every day. day. Mm -hmm. Literally every day at about, you know, 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'd be, you know, on the, you know, in the White House talking about um, coronavirus. But mm -hmm. now we don't see that as much anymore. He's talking about, he's getting ready for his rallies. He's getting ready for re-election. He's... So, and this, that's the thing, the rallies, where he didn't enforce the masks, right? And right. apparently, they were saying that um, the event coordinators actually put um, papers on the, on, the, on the chair so that it could yeah, be yeah, six waiver. feet apart, right? But apparently, when the Trump uh, uh, volunteers came in, they yeah. actually were told to remove those so that people were actually clustered closer well, together. That's, that's because so Trump, like, Trump didn't sell tickets. That's, that's why that did happen. Yeah. Trump, so he had a, I don't know how many people were in that stadium, mm -hmm. but it was like less than half of what that stadium could hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that was more so of an optics thing more than anything else, yeah. um, kind of getting everyone to kind of be together. Mm -hmm. um, but in doing so, a lot of people are coming up having coronavirus mm -hmm. now, being at that, being at that um, rally in Tulsa. Yeah, we're just talking about Herman the, Cain, mm -hmm. um, who was running for president in 2016 mm -hmm. um, as a Republican. The and man. it was the um, Trump's son's girlfriend, wife or girlfriend, right. yeah, daughter-in-law yeah. by some by some, some way, right. yeah, somebody so in his Trump's, camp. Yeah, so I think she also has. She also has, it. and I feel like it's. I feel like personally that he's already had it because there was a time where we didn't really see him out in public, and if we did, he was looking worse than usual mm -hmm. um so that's why i also feel like he feels like he can't get it again um but it's getting closer and closer to it i mean the thing is that do you really think that if trump tested positive he would tell anybody he definitely uh, he I would mean, tell us he would tell us if he was positive and asymptomatic he would tell us if he was positive and then beat it quickly but if he if he would test it positive and then like struggled with it for a time mm -hmm. like that month we didn't see him mm -hmm. Uh, um, then I think he, he definitely wouldn't yeah, tell Yeah, because he had this kind of egotistical, like, I can't be beat by anybody yeah. or anything. Oh, yeah. So it's like, he, he literally thinks that he cannot get it. That's the kind of bravado type, you know, and vibe that, I get from And that's the same lie that had a lot of people up there, like, still not wearing masks. And mm -hmm. like, he was worried more about the economy than the human lives. <laughs> so what do you think? If there's no human lives, how are you going right. to have economy? So Grace, what do you think about churches congregating? With like mask or no mask right now. Well, I mean, none of the churches I go to are congregating. I go to not, city. Not mm -hmm. none of the churches. Yeah. So I, saw, I saw a couple of churches. You're visiting churches. I saw a couple of churches. I saw a couple of churches congregating. Oh really? And that, I was just like. Okay. Oh my, wow. Well, I know mine, for instance, is not. We're doing mm -hmm. the online. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, people are there, you know, on Sunday mornings doing like the live, like singing and doing, you know, mm -hmm. preaching and praying and things like that. that. But as for like the whole congregation, no. Because, mm -hmm. you know, for, for us, in instance, we have an older congregation. Mm -hmm. So coronavirus will go through is like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, not us, but go through mm -hmm. the congregation like that. So my pastor, actually, um, Pastor Remy C. Wright, and co pastor Mia K. Wright, the founder of Praise, shout them out. Um, they actually hosted the George Floyd funeral. And that was probably the last time that someone has been in that church, other than like I said, other than like the, you know, the regular routine people. Um, so now I don't think the church should reopen. I think everything should be shut down. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been saying on Twitter for the past, what, two, three months now. How do you feel, like how has coron the coronavirus and our adjusting to it kind mm -hmm. of changed, not just church, but like even work, for example? Well, I don't think we've adjusted to it yet. So we're still mm -hmm. open. I mean, granted, now the bars are closed, things like that, mm -hmm. but we've never- We were open for what, like Mm -hmm. No, we've been like for a week or a couple week. weeks, two weeks, yeah, one, yeah, once two weeks. Oh, really? No, no, no. Like when it reopened. Like full, full, full capacity, capacity it was I think two weeks. Ad yeah, like full capacity I think was like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because mm -hmm. they were they went from fifty percent to to like right. to full like for yeah. two weeks. Yeah. But I, I feel like for me like with work it was it, it, a lot of companies have had to reevaluate how they you know yeah. conduct their processes yeah. and everything. But I feel like yeah socially. People have kind of not been adjust. They've, they've not needed to adjust, especially. I in literally see a kickback every night on my Instagram story. Are you serious? Someone's at a kickback. Someone's having people <clears throat> over. Mm -hmm. That was a pool party we were invited to, right? Oh yeah. So there's different yeah. things that people are going to, and it's just Let kind of like. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear me a yeah. mask and a two piece. Little, okay. Cheetah <laughs> print, little cheetah print, little cheetah witty, itty bitty. And you just keep <laughs> going. Bikini. And you just keep going. <laughs> but no, like I just I don't feel like we've we've come to a place where we've been socially distant. Mm. Um, like even now, granted, we are now we're masked up and everything, so mm -hmm. that's why you know our voices are a little like. Yeah. But 
But it's like, I think as a whole, people don't like being told what to do. Mm -hmm. Especially oh, by a goodness. government that yeah, can't yeah. really determine what they want to tell us to mm -hmm. do. Because if you look at it, Greg Abbott sent us that text yesterday at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon yeah, telling us how we're going to get right. fine. Mm -hmm. Mind you, a day or so before, he was, you know, looking like, oh, we're just going to play it by ear and mm -hmm. see what happens. Da -da -da -da. That's the thing, there's not no, been strong no, leadership. No. And that's the one thing I really don't like. Even from the Florida governor, um, you know, him with the Texas governor, obviously with Trump, you know, there's not anyone that's come out and said, hey, this is what the situation is. This is what we're trying to do to tackle it. We may or we may not know what, you know, to the capacity it is, mm -hmm. but we, this is what we're doing to, to, to determine that. Well, we don't have anything like that. What we do is just not here. Oh, if, yeah, you look exactly. at, if you look at, like, um, Cuomo, Governor Cuomo oh, in New York, yeah. he's been killing right, it. Right, he has. He's been knocking it out the park. Right. Like, there should be... Central Park. <laughs> You think you're so funny, Grace. You think you're so like, funny. Okay, the ha ha. I like it. Yeah. We, got, we, got, we got a ha ha. Now. Okay, cool, cool. Nah, but it's like, he's, it's crazy that New York has less numbers than us. It's crazy. And yeah. they're the biggest city in the world, you know, no. for, for by, no. by, 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 by a long shot compared to us. And they have the highest amount of cases. Like. Exactly. And we have the largest healthcare network. In the, in, the yeah. in the country. Yeah. And it's like every bed is full of corona. Right. How, something, mm -hmm. the math, something not adding up. Right. Right. <laughs> the so. math's not math. <laughs> so, before we go, yeah. what do you want to leave with our listeners? You know, you talked about voting, you talked about action. Yeah, so tell us okay. about uh, what can you, what, what do we, what should we be doing at this time? We should be, one, staying angry in, in a conductive sense, in a, in a con something that's, that's productive. I'll mm -hmm. say that. We should be, you know, make sure our voices are heard, whether it's through our social media mm -hmm. or us being, you know, physically present at city council meetings whenever we can get back to that. Us being actually present at, at you know, our local, our local, like our local, what is it, community meeting, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, always voting. Mm -hmm. Voting is like a very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. It's a drop in the bucket compared to what needs to be done after people are, off, you know, in office and elected. Mm -hmm. But if we're not allowing our voice to be heard through voting. We don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Mm -hmm. Like, speak up while you have the chance. Don't try to come in on the back end and say, you know, what, well, what I would have done. On. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, like and then, and then Short, moisturize, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Moisturize. Drink your water. Yeah, oh, I need wear a your mask. Tea. Mind your business, wear your mask. You heard somebody saying that they don't want to wear their mask because they don't want to smell their own breath. I, I heard was someone like, what? saying because they don't want people to not see their beautiful smile. And they were what? avid about it. Did it you, was at a city did you, council. Did you say this? I mean, if, oh my God. Um, no. put me on the Supreme Court. Put me on the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just hire me. But yeah, that's probably, like, that's probably my, my call to action. Dad, wash your hands, wear a mask, mm -hmm. stay away from people. Right. I love it. I love it. So, so what are you going to be doing on the 4th of July this weekend? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? Um, what are you doing tonight? Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm gonna watch Hamilton again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm probably gonna be in the house chilling, man. Yeah. Stay at home. Like, not no parties, no barbecues. I'm not celebrating the day. Mm -hmm. um, I sent Malia a little, you know, a little text earlier. It's happy birthday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Obamas and I, we got it like that. We have each other. Yeah, numbers. absolutely. Yeah. 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 A Zoom call. Zoom call. Yeah, no, yeah, it was a Zoom call. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I, can't, I mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, All these high rollers you can be hanging out with. I'm trying to be like Grace. Oh, stop. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. girl. I need to stop. I'm on the Supreme Court now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm going to be chilling, you know? I'm glad y'all had me. Thank, thank you for having me on the no, show. No, thank Absolutely. you for coming. This was this was awesome. And as I said, I love that our platform is able to bring people like you on because this is this is the future. You know, this is the present and this is the future. I'm ready. And if, as long as we can have these kind of conversations and we can spread yeah. this information, I mean, I'm all for it. Absolutely. Hey, so that was another episode of the Gist with Issa and Grace. Afro Vibes Radio. <laughs> this is Afro Vibes Radio. You can follow me on Instagram, Life of Issa, so Life of Y S A A. You can follow me on Instagram, Grace underscore Africa. And you can follow me, Shay Jordan, at Shay underscore Jordan, S H E A. The little dash. J O R D A N. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Awesome, guys. This has been the